hi guys so um, today's video is about uh, fixing this um, CDI so most of the original CDIs actually have a problem where they cleanly break off from these points so there are a couple of terminals here and they usually um, you know get disconnected from these terminals and then these CDIs are absolutely useless so this is an original Shogun CDI um, and my Shaolin as you know didn't come with a CDI so I found one online and that guy was selling it for 1500 rupees which had similar problem so I thought why not go ahead and fix mine and actually make a video so that you guys also understand how to fix one so next what I'm going to do is I'm going to get the um, other CDI which is the Swiss brand CDI okay so this is the CDI that came with the Shaolin this is as you can see manufactured by let me see if I can focus yes it is manufactured by Swiss this thing is available for like 200 bucks so I'm not really upset that I'm going to destroy this completely but at the same time what I'm looking for is these connectors so this is what we are going to harvest out of this so we already have a few wires so what I'm going to do next is I'm going to take this and cut it open and then uh, we are going to connect these wires okay so we are going to need an hacksaw blade and the hacksaw blade will uh, be used to cut this from here and also we will cut this just above the uh, wires which are coming out so that the electrodes are exposed so that is the plan Okay, so cutting it with a hacksaw was not a great idea because it took us a lot of time and energy. The easiest way um, to cut this is to use a um, heat gun. So if you have a heat gun, just heat this area and this area. This is just um, some kind of a sealant. So you can just use a pick like this to you know, break through this. So it is pretty simple to actually use a heat gun rather than using a hacksaw blade having said that uh, we also needed to know the connections because I didn't remember how it is connected so now uh, what I did is I dismantled the uh, Swiss CDI as well so now I know the connections as well so these are the connections so what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut these and solder it here I'm not going to cover that on the camera because soldering is just a simple thing so let me get back to you once the soldering is complete okay okay so finally I have soldered all of the wires um, as you can see the soldering is done um, little spoiler I'm an electronics engineer so soldering is something that comes naturally to me <laughs> not blowing my own trumpet but that is a very good job done um, in terms of soldering because you know first of all I have no flex so this was perfectly soldered so before I go ahead and close this with M seal um, I want to test this on the bike and see if the spark is coming so that is what I'm going to do next now like I said M seal is to be used in places like this not to plug the tank holes so if you have a hole in the tank okay temporarily you can use M seal but don't build a whole Taj Mahal out of it so yep let's go and test it in the bike okay so we have connected the repaired CDI um, this is a spark plug um, daytime is not ideal for checking spark but let's go ahead and try that there you go there is spark so that would mean that our fix was successful now we are going to seal the CDI 
so i was actually out of the hardener for the mcl so what i did is i had a little bit so that would impact the drying time but i was able to mold it properly into place um, once it is done then this should be rock solid so it's all fixed well like you can see and now i'm going to let this dry for about a day uh, and once it sets then we will fix it back on the bike and see if it runs so right now you guys have seen the spark so technically this should run yeah so let's see so i guess that is going to be the video um, i hope you liked it uh, and hopefully you learned something new so this is uh, you know how you fix the um, shogun shaolin cdi if the wires are broken at the edges that happens very often um, so there are a lot of uh, you know bikes that i have seen where this is broken off the end. so we will um, use this kind of a method going forward if it needs to be fixed so i think you i hope you enjoyed this video if you did like share and subscribe because you know subscribers you like you actually make me make more videos and i really enjoy the process so we are very close to the magic 10k mark so if you guys can help us grow to that level faster it would be great i have already gone ahead and you know planned some very good um, equipment um, once the 10000 mark hits so right now even before the 10000 mark i actually bought a tripod which is which can be placed horizontally so that is where i'm filming this so that is going to be uh, very helpful going forward i can actually film a lot of you know uh, small fixes like this i can do engine rebuilds underneath the camera like this so that you know you guys get an idea of how you know the engine is rebuilt step by step so this was something that i was missing for a very long time and i was even thinking of making my own horizontal tripod using some you know square tubes but luckily i actually got a great deal from um, amazon and i bought one of the best tripods available there uh, of course the cheapest as well as always you know we we look for the cheapest one so yeah i hope you did enjoy the video if you did please like share and subscribe we need to reach the 10000 mark fast so i need your support i need your help kindly help me reach the mark faster so that i can dedicate a bit more time um, to this because once you know we reach the 10000 mark that really means that the channel starts becoming little serious and people start noticing it so i would really help i mean i would really um, request you guys to help us reach that milestone quicker so that is it for today's video see you in the next one bye bye